Okay, so we're going to be looking at the importance of using the correct charger, like this, for charging your lithium polymer cell. So the reason we're using the correct charger is lithium polymer cells are very explosive. So basically, once I was building a project and I took a drill, because I decided I needed to drill the holes in the top of the plastic, which I printed for an RC submarine to get the ESC wires out, and accidentally drilled into a 1200 milliamp hour lithium polymer cell which then proceeded to fill up our garage with massive amounts of smoke and catch fire. Luckily we managed to get it out and put it in a bowl of water, into um, a, a bucket full of water. So if you discharge, if you use the wrong charger, you can end up with that in your house. So this battery is a 2 cell, as we can see 7.4 volts, which is 2 times obviously 3.6. If I can do math right, 3.7. Um, so it's 4,000 milliamps, like, um, so basically that's how much power, it'll, that's for how long it will give out the time, that's for 30 coulombs, or 30 C as you'd call it. So this is a Florion battery, very good. If you want to buy two of these, they're £30 on eBay, sorry, on Amazon for two thirty pounds which I thought was very good value. So this is a charger, this is a pretty much a basic charger, it's got input voltage so you can have this for either English or like American. In England obviously we use 240 volts. So we have max charge current of 800 milliamp hours. The cell count range, so that means that you can have, you can either run it on a one cell which would be 3.7 volt, a two cell which would be 7.4 volts, or a three cell which is 11 point something. Um, and back to this we have green, so the battery, type lithium polymer. The green means it's fully charged so these have two lights on them, so power is always red. So this is red until fully charged and they go green. So blink red yet error. So that's like, if one of the wires came out of these, then you would get the blink out. One of the things I recommend if you're going to buy any of these sort of batteries is to get a, lot, a little bit of hot glue and just glue around the tops. Because then it stops, when you pull the wires out, it stops it just from leaving the plug behind as I had with an old 1500 milliamp hour battery I used to use, which came with an RC helicopter. So to show how explosive these batteries are, I'm not actually going to blow one up because obviously that would be really daft. But literally our garage is, as you might have seen in some of the car videos we do, is massive. And literally I caught it with this battery and obviously then they short out. So basically it's almost like you just caught the tip, they short out, and then they proceed to just belch smoke or spark and catch fire. So ours luckily only just smoked out, but literally our garage, I don't know how big, how many litres of smoke it poured out, but literally it just expanded, so it was like that, and this was only like equivalent of just over half of one of these. So you can see quite how dangerous it is, well I should always buy the correct charger.